I'm going to provide you with a brief history of Normandale's vacuum technology program, as well as give you some background on the National Science Foundation Advanced Technological Education Program and the grant projects that they have awarded to Normandale's vacuum technology program. So a little bit about the history. Normandale's vacuum technology program was conceived and instituted in the 1990s. Representatives from four local companies came together to advocate for the development of an educational program that was to be designed for their workforce and would address the gaps in skills and knowledge their organizations were experiencing with respect to the use of vacuum systems. Three of those companies were, and still are, located in Bloomington. That group reached out to Normandale Community College and asked the college to host a new program focused on vacuum technology. At the time, Normandale offered a two-year degree program in electromechanical technology. The group proposed developing new courses in vacuum technology and offering a new two-year technical degree program in vacuum technology. That program would leverage existing Normandale courses. Normandale approved the courses and the, de and the degree program and added those to the college's program offerings. The first vacuum technology classes were delivered at Seagate's facility in Bloomington. Instructors were individuals who had in industrial experience working with vacuum systems and vacuum-based processes. The first students were cohorts of incumbent workers from the companies that had championed the new program. Initially, course enrollment and VACT classes were very good. By 2002, all of the vacuum technology class instruction was transferred to and taking place at Normandale's campus. At about the same time, Normandale discontinued the electromechanical technology AAS degree program, but did leave in place the two-year AAS degree in vacuum technology, plus added two certificate pro programs related to vacuum technology. I started teaching at Normandale in 2004. By that point, the vacuum technology program was struggling with low enrollment. The program was renamed nanotechnology, but the course curriculum and credentials were not changed. There was an NSF ATE project awarded to Normandale's nanotechnology program from 2006 to 2010, but the program cont continued to struggle with low enrollment over that period. I became the department chair in 2011. I met with some of the original program champions. That group was very passionate about the importance of vacuum technology. The group recommended changing the program name back to vacuum technology. Del Smith, who was one of the program's original instructors, offered to resume teaching all of the vacuum technology classes for Normandale. Program enrollment improved modestly between 2012 to 2014 but enrollment was still not at a sustainable level. Although the program attracted some incumbent workers from the local industry partners, it attracted very few traditional college-age students. The college opened up a brand new building in 2012. In this new space, there was one classroom that had an immersive telepresence technology classroom system. The college was looking for programs to start making use of that space. This opportunity became the focus of the new NSF ATE project proposal. The proposal advanced an idea to test the delivery of vacuum technology classes in a telepresence classroom as a strategy to expand the audience for vacuum technology classes. We would enroll people from more distant locations who couldn't attend classes in person on campus. We were already aware of glass coating industries located in the state of Minnesota that use vacuum systems extensively. However, the locations of those companies made it difficult, if not impossible, for those workers to attend Normandale's VACT classes in person. Another important piece of the proposal was to develop some new equipment to increase hands-on learning experiences for students. The Revising Vacuum Technology and Advanced Manufacturing Program, REVAM for short, project proposal was submitted to the NSF's ATE program for review in 2013. The project received grant funding in 2014. The project's objectives were to modify the content of two existing VACT courses so that they could be taught live from a telepresence classroom. 
These two courses would also incorporate an equipment, tra an equipment trainer system that would facilitate hands-on learning. These systems were designed to be shipped so that students at distance locations could participate in the same hands-on learning activities as the students who attended in person on campus at Normandale. During the revamp project, the team was able to take advantage of an initiative offered by the state of Minnesota. That initiative provided colleges with matching funds in an amount equal to the value of qualifying donations and grant monies. The college could use the leverage funds to purchase additional equipment that would benefit a program. Those leverage dollars allow us to design and install a custom telepresence system in this classroom, the one that I'm speaking to you from today. There were still challenging issues facing this program. The big one was that it needed a strategy to create a pipeline of students for the program. We came up with some ideas that we thought would make for another good NSF AT project, ones we felt would also effectively leverage what had been learned from the project revamp. In 2017, the college submitted another project proposal to NSF on behalf of the vacuum technology program. The three project objectives were laid out as to develop and offer a course for students to learn foundational knowledge in mathematics and chemistry, and especially concepts that were important to understanding vacuum technology. This new course would be offered fully online, so it would be a more convenient on-ramp for any person anywhere to start Normandale's vacuum technology program. The second objective was to develop the ability to deliver the vacuum technology capstone course, thin film deposition, from the telepresence classroom. The updated course would also include more hands-on learning experiences. Making this course distance delivery friendly would also create an opportunity for the distance learners to, have a credential, to earn a credential from Normandale. The third, identify and utilize strategies to more effectively onboard new vacuum technology for AT grant project to Normandale in 2017. This project, which is called Distance Education and Learning in Vacuum Technology for Employment Readiness, or DELIVER for short, is still currently funded by NSF. Like the previous slide, the main objectives of the project are listed in the middle row, and the outcomes from the project are highlighted in this bottom row. This slide provides a visual of the vacuum technology program's enrollment history starting from fall semester 1998 and up to the current time, fall semester 2020. I know the values on the horizontal axis are confusing. Each of these values represents an academic term at Normandale. The year referenced reflects the end point of an academic year. So, for example, we are currently in academic year 2021. Academic year 2021 started with summer 2020 classes. So that term is identified as 20211. The current semester, fall semester 2020, is designated as 20213. So that's the farthest column off to the right. Spring semester 2021 will be 20215. But the main point here is to show in numbers how Normandale's program has grown during the grant funded periods starting in 2015. A key to the growth has been enrollment of students at distant partner locations. This slide gives you an idea of the locations where students have been enrolled in a VACT class by state and one country and the numbers that have been enrolled in those locations. The one location outside of the U.S. was in Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland and that was of um, employees of uh, Seagate's sister fabrication facility located in Northern Ireland. And this slide shows identities of the different organizations we've had the pleasure of working with over the course of the NSF ATE grant funded projects. 